NASA expert Dean Epler taught us that levels of methane would be indicative of either geological activity or living organisms on Mars. There are compositions that one sees in an atmosphere. There are certain chemicals that can be indicative of, you know, sort of short-term active products. Our team's favorite part of the week was attending Apollo night and listening to Fred Hayes talk about the Apollo 13 mission. From Rachel Edgarly, we learned that different environmental conditions warrant different solutions and we can apply this knowledge in the future by remaining flexible and focusing on our experimentation. Monday, we all decided as a whole what our mission parameters were going to be. We decided on a long duration trip with 10 crew members. The four teams developed a PowerPoint presentation on one of the following assigned topics in developing a human mission to Mars. Red team was responsible for getting there, white team was responsible for living there, blue team was responsible for working there, and gray team was responsible for mission integration. The teams used subject matter experts, mentor knowledge, and internet resources. Our team was responsible for developing the mission once we got on Mars. We decided to do, use exploration in the forms of paleohydrology, paleoclimatology, spectroscopy, and astrobiology in order to determine how life on Mars arrived or if water on Mars was even present. We also used rovers and robots to help with our mission. We would all like to say a huge thank you to our mentors, the NASA staff who have helped us throughout the week, the speakers who have came and visited and taught us so many new things, the teachers who nominated us, and our parents. <laughs>